Hello, it's Jeremiah with Affordable Mobility Solutions, and today I'm shooting a video of our Dodge Grand Caravan. This is a mobility and wheelchair accessible van, like most of our vans. And I'm going to do a walk around on the van first. The reason I'm doing the walk around first, because it's so hot out today. If I leave this phone out in the sun too long, they'll overheat and they'll shut off. So, very nice van, very clean. I do see a little, little scrape down here. Probably a little parking lot ding. It's not a dent. Uh, we put, we tried to buff it out. It's probably about as good as it's going to get. It's hardly noticeable, but I did want to show that to you. Uh, the van has tinted windows. Tires are in excellent condition. Probably the, ex, probably the original tires on here. You know, 14,000 miles on this van. So the tires have a lot of life left on them. It's really hard to find a dent or scratch on this van. I'm not saying this van's perfect, but I'm saying it's pretty darn close to it. I can't find any door dings. I can't find any any you know major scratches whatsoever. Roof looks good. Let me back it over here into the shade. We'll go over the conversion. And now I'll get to the brand new rear entry manual ramp and door conversion. And the reason we shoot the uh, videos in the light, go walking around. I don't want you to think I'm trying to hide anything on the body in the shade. So we do that in the sunlight. Uh, the conversion itself very easy to operate. Very low cost to maintain. I can operate the entire conversion using just two fingers. Um, opens up the trunk manually, very easy to do. Undo the clasps on here. What these do is they keep the van from rattling around in the back. A lot of these vans, the conversion, you know where it slides over here in the middle, they're going to rattle down the road. I promise you don't want that. I got the handle on either side, driver's side or passenger side. I'm going to use the passenger side and I'm going to put this down with one finger. It's spring assisted. Look here, I got one finger on it. I can take it to the ground using just one finger. I do tell our customers if you can lift half a gallon of milk up off the ground, you can operate these ramps with ease. The ramp itself is 34 inches wide. Uh, most side entry vans are only 30 inches, so this actually gives you four more inches of room. So if you're hauling a bigger chair or bigger chairs, this would definitely be something that should interest you. It's got the uh, eight tie down points, two in the back, four in the middle, two up front. This will actually allow you to tie up to eight, up to four, hold on, <laughs> sorry, up to two wheelchairs at a time. Finally got it. You can carry up to two wheelchairs at a time in this van. Headliner is in great condition. Has the rear air controls. As I walk to the front of the van, the dash is in excellent shape. I don't see any cracks or damage on the dash. It does have the steering wheel controls, so whether it's you driving or a family member or maybe an employee if you're buying this for a business. They can keep their eyes on the road and adjust the radio. It's got the radio, auxiliary port, uh, all that good stuff. Dual climate control. Driver can be one temperature. The passenger can be a second temperature. And the people in the rear can actually be a third temperature. So it's got great options. We plastic up the floor, plastic up the seat. We do our best to protect these vans. We, we care about these vans very much. We take care of them. We buy only the finest things. And I'm the owner out here on a 100 degree day taking videos of these vans because we do we do care about we take pride in our work when it's time to put the van everyone's secure look at that one finger put it on up latch your back down the electric ramps and doors are nice don't get me wrong but if something goes wrong on them they can leave you stranded they're thousands of dollars to fix generally they're very very costly very complicated so if you can get by with a manual ramp and door if you can pick up a half a gallon of milk I'm telling you what not only the cost up front, but the cost and trouble down the road, go manual. The interior is very clean. I'm a non-smoker. I can smell smoke from a mile away. No signs of any unusual odors in this van. Very clean interior. The rear seats, much of the same, very clean. Between the seats, there's about 21 inches of room. A lot of times, you know, people will pull their legs up here between the seats and the bottom will sit just behind it. Sometimes they'll remove a seat to make a little extra room. There's other seats we can also offer. So talk to us. Let us help you configure the van to meet your needs. You can see the current mile is 14,537. When I go to turn the van on, the check engine light, radio works, check engine light, airbag, ABS all work. They all go out. You see the van's currently got about three quarters tank of gas. That pesky tire light, we filled up the tires all the way. Um, sometimes those things are just a pain, but we'll fill them up again, make sure we have them all right. We'll try and get that to go out. 
Underneath the hood has a 3.6 V6. Very clean, idle smoothly. No signs of any leaks, no signs of any water damage. No signs of an accident. We check this stuff over very closely before we buy. Like I said, we buy quality stuff. I don't want headaches. Very clean underneath. No signs of any abnormal rust or leaking or anything like that. As I walk around to the side of the van, I also want to show you the undercarriage in the back. And the reason I do this is not because I like laying around, laying on the ground, especially when it's 100 degrees out. I do this to show you that the undercarriage is just as important as the body. If you buy a van from some guy in New Jersey, it's all rusted out, and you haven't seen the undercarriage, and it won't pass inspection in your state, or it's got a bunch of issues, you just bought a paperweight. You can't use it, folks. Know who you're buying from. And no matter who you buy from, if they won't go out and make a video like this for you, if they won't crawl underneath the van, if they won't take it on a test drive, then who are you buying from? Buy from a company like us with a good reputation. We have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. We get out, we make videos, we take care of our stuff, we protect our stuff, and we take pride in our work and our vehicles. So, before I get the van on the highway, I do want to show you. We've tested all the power mirrors, power locks, power doors. We've tested everything. Power mirrors work good. Just want to show you it's not something you come up and look at and something doesn't work right. Everything on this van works. Let's get it on the highway. Okay, the final portion of the video, I always like to get the vans out on a test drive. I want to get them on the highway. And I want to drive them hard so you can hear the engine run and the transmission shift and see what they do on the highway so you know that whether we deliver this to you or that we uh, you come pick it up you know this van is roadworthy and we're not hiding anything a little bit of rush hour traffic we'll see if we can get this thing kicked up to 70 on about 55 right now And I know there's a lot of companies out there selling mobility vans. Got to about 67. That's all I'm going to be able to do right now. I've got the cruise control set. Cruise works great. You can see the steering wheel is not bouncing around. It's got a real tight front end. And I know the van's not brand new, but it sure runs and drives like it. So as I mentioned, there's a lot of people out there selling mobility vans. I want you to ask yourself, does the company you're, you're comparing us to, do they have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau? Because we do. Do they, have, do they have almost 500 positive feedback reviews on eBay and zero negative feedback reviews on eBay? Because we do. Do they offer free shipping to your home anywhere in the lower 48? Because we do. You ask, how can we do that? Well, I own a shipping brokerage, and the difference between us and a lot of the companies out there is we're not trying to make fifteen or twenty thousand dollars a van. That's why our prices are ten thousand, fifteen thousand less than a lot of these guys that attach the word medical to something and just jack the price up. So and finally the last thing is we don't have any hidden administrative fees and document fees and tag fees. That's not how I do business. I don't try and give you a price and then slide in a thousand dollars on the back end and just hope you'll pay it. And in my opinion that's very shady. It's not right to do. So what I'm going to do is take this next exit here. I'm going to give the van a hard brake coming in here, about 50 miles an hour. And there's no grinding, no squeaking, no unusual brake noise. I'll give it a nice hard brake up here. We'll come to a complete stop. And I'm checking and I'm watching. I'm making sure there's no one behind me because I don't want to cause an accident. Nice hard brake. That's my water jug you heard fall. It wasn't anything in the van, so. <laughs> Gotta have my water today. It's about a little over 100 degrees, so. Overall, very nice van. Like I said, it's, I've, I've said this a few times, almost pretty much brand new condition. So if you're ever gonna come out and look at one of our vans, please always give us a call first. I know your time's valuable. Call us, make an appointment. We'll make time for you. 316-262-VANS. That's 316 316- Two six two eight two six seven. My name is Jeremiah. Check us out 24 hours a day on the web at www.mobility 
316.com. If this van's not exactly what you're looking for, check us out or give us a call. We'll help you find what you're looking for. Also, see us in Texas, BigTexMobility.com. Our inventory of both sites is up on our website. And as always, thank you so much for checking out Affordable Mobility Solutions, where mobility is affordable. Call us today, folks.